Absolutely. Well, right now, the Orion Space Capsule, speaking of great things, is heading towards the moon. Day two of its 240,000 mile journey. We're going to loop in. Who else? Amanda Holly, right? Big old smile yesterday when you were able to see yeah. um, the Orion capsule take off there. But tell us more about these images we're now getting from space. Yeah, pretty cool stuff here. I mean, we've got a tracker to the actual uh, mission right now is on NASA's website, Lifetime Tracker, and we are getting these images. The Orion capsules actually already more than halfway to the moon. You can see it here on the actual tracker itself, but the spacecraft is equipped with 24 Four cameras both inside and out so yeah we're getting these great views you can see earth in the background as it gets farther away and then one of the four large solar panels powering it in the middle of your screen there and a few of its engines in the top left that main engine it will burn at times to steer Orion and help with orbital maneuvering around the moon we also have great views from inside the capsule that's what you're seeing here you can see one of the mannequins it's equipped with sensors to detect vibration and forces that were felt upon launch it also has radio radiation sensors on it to detect how much uh, radiation the astronauts astronauts will actually face while they're in space. We also had a view of one of Orion's windows inside that capsule. So pretty cool again. NASA has an interactive real-time mission tracker where you can track where Orion is right now. Right now it's again a little more right there uh, than halfway to the moon and you can see future uh, mission burns, engine burns there and some of those milestones that uh, Orion will make as it makes its 25 and a half day journey. Pretty cool stuff here. We're going to continue to track it over the next few days and really over the next few weeks as it makes its way to the moon. It is